Ukrainian defense forces struck the Kanskaya Air Base in the Russian Republic of Adegi overnight on October the 9th, targeting 57 warplanes and helicopters, according to NV sources. The airport housed both training and combat aircraft, including Su-34, 12 aircraft, Diamond DA-42, 2 aircraft, L-39, 37 aircraft, Su-35S, 4 aircraft, Mi-8, two helicopters. The exact number of destroyed and damaged aircraft is still being determined, according to the NV source. Sources within the Ukrainian Defense Forces also reported that the attack was carried out by drones from the SBU Security Service, the main intelligence directorate and the Special Operations Forces of Ukraine. Following the strike, a large fire and detonations occurred at the airbase. The Kanskaya airbase, located in Krasnodar Krai, about 450 kilometers from the front line, is used by the Russian military for refueling and conducting missile and bomb strikes against Ukraine. Additionally, NV's source reported that overnight on October the 19th, drones from the SBU, Special Operations Forces of Ukraine, Armed Forces and Special Operations Forces struck a warehouse of Shahed drones near Yeysk. Several powerful blasts were recorded, leading to a fire and subsequent detonations at the drone storage site. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine confirmed earlier on October the 10th the strike on the Russian military airbase in the vicinity of the village of the Kanskaya near Makop in Adigay. The statement noted that an ammunition depot was hit, resulting in a fire. Andriy Kovalenko, the head of the Center for Countering Disinformation at the National Security and Defense Council, reported that a fuel depot at the airbase was destroyed. The airfield is located near the village of Kanskaya, close to the region's capital city of Makop and roughly 430 kilometers from the front line. The Kanskaya airfield is home to Russia's 272nd Training Aviation Regiment. Russia uses the airbase for refueling and to support airstrikes against Ukrainian military positions and population centers. Ukraine has carried out a number of strikes against airbases and other military facilities in an effort to weaken the more powerful Russian Air Force and curb Moscow's ability to launch devastating aerial attacks against Ukrainian cities. Russian President Vladimir Putin met Iran's president on Friday at a time when Tehran is supplying weapons for Moscow's fighting in Ukraine and concerns are growing over escalating attacks between Israel and Iran and its militant allies. Putin and Iranian President Masoud Pazeshkian discussed the situation in the Middle East on the sidelines of an international forum in the Turkmen capital, Ashgabat, Russian state media said. Moscow and Tehran signed a $1.7 billion deal for Iran to export drones to Russia after Putin launched his so-called special military operation in Ukraine in 2022, and the U.S. also believes it has transferred short-range ballistic missiles. Both countries were accused this week by Ken McCallum, the head of Britain's domestic intelligence agency MI5, of carrying out a staggering rise in attempts at assassination sabotage and other crimes on UK soil. McCallum said his agents and police have tackled 20 potentially lethal plots backed by Iran since 2022 and warned that it could expand its targets in the UK if conflicts in the Middle East deepen. During the two presidents meeting, Putin told Pazeshkian that Moscow and Tehran's positions on international events are close. Relations with Iran are a priority for us, and they are developing very successfully, Putin said. We actively work together in the international arena, and our assessments of current events in the world are often very close. He also invited the Iranian leader to visit Russia and Pazeshkian accepted. God willing, we will also participate in the BRICS summit, and the documents that will have to be signed there, we will do everything for the signing of these documents, Pazeshkian said. <laughs> Отношения с Ираном носят 
ولی هنوز این افزایش جبران نکرده روند نزولی سال گذشته ولی به طور کلی روند روند مجبری است ما اکتیو در رابطه می نیسته مجدار ادنرینی نشه اتصالت پرسیدیش سبیتی در میره شایست اوچین بلیسکی Наши отношения должны не в заднем улучшаться и укрепляться. Мы были хами фурсатой хумиас. Мы тут не хами же кома кони масар наза. Ван негаха ва музыгири хай модар дуния. Это хейли ба хами ген аздиктар аздигеран. Должны будут там подписаться. Мы сделаем все для подписания этих документов. Иншалла, адван дар брикс шеркат хайм кад ва ум. ما اهدافی که با هم نوشته شده رو اونجا نهایی بکنیم و بتونیم با هم دیگه سند راه بردی رو هم امضا کنیم. داشت باخ متوجه پیمان شاسی بریکس ایت دکومنت که تو ارهال اوضاع در منطقه بسیار بحرانیه و کشورهای اروپایی و آمریکایی دلشون نمیخواد منطقه آرام باشه تا بتونیم این ارتباطات رو در پسر آرامی با هم دیگه ادامه بدیم. Да, ситуация сейчас в регионе сложная, и Америка...